Hey Beer Trippers, thanks for joining me tonight, or whatever time of day that you're watching this. Tonight I'm going to be having the Smoked Baltic Porter by Great Divide Brewing. Now this one I'm a bit confused about. Um, here this is a Baltic Porter, a style that tends to be more on the robust, sweeter side, and uh, it lies at, was it, 6.2% ABV. Uh, but the thing though is that this says that it's a lager. It keeps referring itself to it as a lager because it says this dark lager gets a special twist from a hefty addition of Bamberg smoked malt, which is what's going to give it the smokiness, I'm assuming. Uh, but yeah, it just keeps saying that it's a lager, so I'm kind of confused. And so I, I looked it up a bit and seems like some people are guessing, at least on the reviews I saw, that they used lager yeast. So here it is. You know what? I just realized. Maybe it was better if I poured it into a stein. I think that's why I have this here. Anyways, um, yeah, I, since it says it's a lager and also I just saw on Rape Beer, it says that to put it on a stein or a lager glass, but oh well, this was in front of me. So here we go, it's uh, quite dark, um, a decent amount of carbonation, but I think this is where maybe the lager part of it falls into. I don't know, it seems okay. But this might be if you pour it into a lager a glass or a stein, you might get more carbonation possibly. Uh, but I cannot see through it at all. I'm, it's definitely a porter so far. Let me give it a smell here. Mmm, yes, roasty, kind of porter kind of smell. I almost, like, like if, if I were to go by smell, I would have guessed maybe it's an oatmeal stout or porter. Uh, but it smells fine so far. Yeah, it's like roasted, smoky, uh, it's, it's a mix of those two. Like, maybe just a slight hint of vanilla, but not really. So, let me give this a try here. Gump pipe. Oh, wow, that is weird. Yeah, it's, um, pretty light. Yeah, it's, it's like... Hmm. It's like a cross between a dark lager and a porter. Like, it this definitely has this weird in-betweenness to it, that's like, I mean, I guess that it was gonna, it's not gonna be hefty like an Imperial Stout, anything like that, because it's 6%, you know, it's it's a regular kind of uh, amount of alcohol in it. Um, obviously, I don't taste any alcohol, but it's pretty light, though. Yeah, this, this definitely has on the lighter side, um, lack of better terms, watery. Um, I do get hints of smoke. And the roasted malts. I, th I think the, the the use of these these roasted malts that they use the what was it it's the smoked malt Bamberg or Bamberg. Uh, it's it's all like this German malt and hops that they use. Um, I think that's what Great Divide use often. But yeah, they use uh, German hops and malts, and um, so it really gives off a lot of the smokiness. Um, they, they, I, I don't know what constitutes a smoke porter. Maybe you homebrewers could help me out there. Those of you that know way more than I do. Um, uh, I, I don't know if they put any like oh, uh, some kind of chips in it to you know wood chips to give it smokiness, but um, it does have a smokiness for sure, uh, opposing to just roastedness. Um, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely on the B side, you know, rating wise, but. Um, it's, it's not something that's necessarily my favorite because I t if, if I were to have a dark beer, like whether it be a porter or, or, or a stout, I like it to be on the, a little more on the thicker side. It could be medium, but I rather prefer it to be on the thicker side. Um, but, you know, I, I think for those of you that aren't too into thicker beers, and especially dark beers, but you want to try something out, I think this would be a good introduction to it. Um, uh, otherwise, probably get yourself a dark lager. A German dark lager would be a good introduction into dark beers. Um, but th this one, I think this would be a good step after a dark lager because it does have this in between kind of thing going on. It's, it's, it's still quite enjoyable, really. Um, it's, it's not a, it's not a bad beer. It's just not one of my favorites. So, anyways, I think that's about it. That was Great Divides Smoked Baltic Porter. And, uh, yeah, give it a try. It's, it's, it's an alright beer. It has, it has some sweetness uh, towards, uh, towards the end of each taste. But, you know, this is not bad. It's just not my favorite. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer vlog. Come fight.